Hey, how's it going everybody? This is GC Performance here back with another bike review. Um, today I have for you the 2020 Tarmac SL6 Comp UDI2 Edition. Uh, they make this bike in two different models in the same frame color, just in two different group sets. One with electronic and one with mechanical. Um, so basically I'm just going to kind of show you the differences about this bike and go over about the SL6 platform with it. But, so to start off with, this is the 2020 Tarmac Comp SL6 UDI2. This thing retail for $4,200. Um, and it comes with the Altegra DI2 electronic components. And this is gonna be their black color on here with the, uh, this is advertised, it looks almost like a white decal. But on here, this is going to be a reflective kind of matte texturized. So I know it looks a little bit weird, but it's also like a reflective. So if you are riding at nighttime, this will reflect and kind of give you some light. And this is why I do these videos because in the picture online, I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't even know this bike came like this with this kind of camo color, which looks really cool. It makes me like it a lot more. They have it in a berry color and also like a uh, another color as well, but this black with this kind of camo color going all the way down it, you couldn't even see this online. It just looked like a matte black bike with a white decal when it took the flash on there. But it looks really good uh, in my opinion. So to kind of go over the tech specs on here, this is their SL6 platform. It's not the new SL7. This is still a, this is not the integrated stem. It's just a regular specialized alloy stem, regular specialized alloy handlebar. Um, it does come with the Altegra Di2 shifters right here. You can see Altegra Di2. And the junction box is going to be inside the bar. This is where you're going to charge the bike at. Um, the chain ring on here is going to be a uh, 5236, 11 speed. So 5236 on the front. The rear is going to be 1130 cassette so it's going to be kind of that mid-range where you can climb with it if you like to the wheels that come stock in here are going to be the dt swiss r uh 470 sorry as a guy rides by on the bike um these are the dt swiss r 470 wheels so aluminum wheels and i believe if they're not marked with it but it's a 350 hub basically so just a 350 dt swiss hub on the back these are hydraulic disc brakes they come equipped with the altega rotors on here um, and then you do get a carbon fiber S-Work C-Post on here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it has an S-Work C-Post on there, carbon fiber. Uh, and then you do get a pro, I'm sorry, not pro, an expert power saddle with titanium. Actually, no, I'm sorry, chromoly rails. My bad. So you get chromoly rails. And this C-Post, you can run carbon fiber rails if you like. You just have to swap out this. See how it says Isla rails? You do have to do that. Um, okay, so basically why we have this bike in the store. Again, you guys know the certain COVID situation, very hard to get bikes in stock. So when the SL7 came out, they released these bikes. I think they're even on a closeout as well. I think they're advertised on the Specialized website for a little bit cheaper. But um, this bike is still an amazing bike. There's no difference to it. When they released this bike on here, Jesus, I guess. Uh, when they released this bike on here, the SL6 platform when it first came out was amazing. They lowered the seat stays a little bit. They made the, the fork a little bit more narrower. They made the uh, uh, the down tube a little more arrow. And this bike became more of a, they said on the, the newer models, on the nicer models, like the Expert and the Pro and the S-Works, that they're more aerodynamic than the first generation Venge. Not the Venge Vice, not the new Venge, but the first generation Venge. So they made strides to make it more arrow, but still be that climbing machine the Tarmac is known about. Um, being with that, a lot of people like this bike, but it kind of, when this bike got released as well, it kind of put the Roubaix on the back burner. The reason for that is that the, the bike was so compliant. When riding this bike, I literally had people, they were asking me, which one should I go with, the Roubaix or the, or the Tarmac? And I would get people to say, well, for Florida, with the flat roads that are really nice paved, there's no reason to have a Roubaix. It, it would be almost too bouncy. Um, the head tube wasn't tall enough to even do anything of the difference, and the Tarmac was just more efficient for pedaling. So that's why they redesigned the whole Roubaix, which I'm gonna do a video on that later, but the new SL or the, the SL6 platform for what the bike is, because they still have for 2021s, they still have the sport, the base model, um, I think even a comp model in the SL6 platform, which I love because the bike is just such a phenomenal bike. If you can get on that, actually try one out, uh, you're gonna fall in love with it. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to go over the Tarmac SL6 and kind of show you guys that platform. Uh, they do make a they don't, well, they don't have the integrated ones anymore, so that's, that's, that's nothing there. But the tire size on here is going to be a uh, 700 by 26C. 
which is normal what comes stock on these bikes for the tarmacs uh, but yeah just kind of want to show you guys the colors this is the the part right here which if you have mechanical or if you wanted to run mechanical you have to swap this out and put on the part where the mechanical cables are going to to run a mechanical part there but just showing off the color on this bike you probably can still find these bikes in stores from dealers as well if you guys did miss out on the experts um now i know some of you guys are going to say this because i got a lot of heat for the tarmac the 2021 sl7 expert how much it weighed was 17 pounds and you guys are going to freaking uh give me a lot of heat for this this bike is again a 2020 tarmac comp udi2 uh it weighs in at 54 a medium size now granted i have these clunky pedals someone test wrote it but this bike weighs in at 18 pounds even which i know is very heavy but it's a it's a fun bike to ride i have one of these myself i have a 56 in this bike very nice it's a, it's the bike is you put some wheels on here man it's gonna be night and day you get rid of those pedals it's a beautiful bike to ride comfortable fast responsive you step on the power is going to go the bike does not flex laterally uh it's just a very fast bike but yeah that's going to be my review for this bike if you guys have any tech questions spec questions weights uh components pricing let me know down in the comments if you guys can leave a like on the channel as well and subscribe if you guys have not subscribed already i will be doing some more videos coming out i have some rubets lined up i got them on order they're coming in here I can kind of show off that future shock that Roubaix and kind of show you differences from this SO6 model to what they did differently on the, the Roubaix. And it's a really nice bike for the year. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.